Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Elevate Your Mindset. My name is Paul Croto, and I'm here with Cheryl Morley. Hello, I'm excited to be here. This, you know, review has not always been my favorite, Paul, but I'm I'm getting there. Cheryl, you've I'm grown so there. much this year. It's just I've been yeah. just so proud of you, and so blessed, so blessed, and uh, just excited for you. Yes, thank you. I have a planner. Do you? I was going to say, do you have your planner with you? Or is it still at home? No, it's at my it's at my house. I didn't realize I wouldn't get home from the dentist in time with uh, Angelica. So we're here in the car and we're just going to, we had to pull over and stop for a minute. Say hi, Angelica. What's good, my dudes? Look at that. And, and, and Angelica, tell us the exciting news. I heard you just uh, completed some sort of course. Yes, sir. The health coach. You're a I'm health a, coach? I'm a certified we health a, coach a now. brand new certified Holistic health coach. Better wash out. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm for you, Paul. Cheryl and I are God, just going to sit down now and uh, and let Jill take yeah. over this whole situation here. <laughs> hey, I'm glad. That's fine with me. Yeah, she's awesome. Congratulations, it's Angelica. Be... It's super, super great. And, uh, and uh, Angelica has also become a big Tony Robbins fan recently, I heard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tony awesome. Robbins is awesome. the man, the myth, the legend. Well, um, and so I just got through with 100 hours with Tony. So I'm a little Tonyed out at the moment. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> so jealous. Paul. Yeah. <laughs> it was fantastic. And I can't wait to do. Uh, so on Thursday, when we do our Elevate Your Leadership, I'll be going over a, uh, I'll take all 100 hours and make it into one hour. So it'll be, uh, it'll be a great, great hour there. So make sure you tune in for that. But yes, Cheryl, this week we're doing, or we're doing this, this, uh, yearly review, which is something that we do every single year, this, this week uh, in December here. And I, it just brings massive clarity to, to my life. And I know it does to yours too. And that was really the main thing about Date with Destiny is getting clear on things. And um, so we're, the, the number one thing to get clear on to answer this question is, do you want to live life by default or by design? You just got to decide that I'm done with this default stuff. And I know a lot of people are, you know, Cheryl used to live, you love life by, uh, live life by default and now has decided to, you know, has been designing her life for years now and it's made a huge difference. So yeah, absolutely. Is- and Paul, what I used to do is call it, um, live by the seat of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning whatever That's another strategy. Happened, yeah. Well, it's the same as by default. Yeah. Because you don't have a plan. You don't have a design. You really have nothing. You have whatever happens, happens. And let's just go with it. And that's really how it was. And I think a lot of people think, well, I'm not living my life by default because this happens, this happens, this happens, and this happens. But I'm here to tell you, if you are not actively designing it, then it is by default. Even if it doesn't seem like that, because Paul, I have to tell you, my life did not seem like I was living it by default all the time. I mean, life was life. I worked at Taco Bell and then I did this, then I met Dr. Wallace, then I did this, then I did this. But that's not what we're talking about, is it? We're talking about literally saying, this is how I'm going to live my life. This is how it's going to be. This is what I'm going to do. And this is what I'm going to get, which is fascinating to me. It's a whole new yeah. It's lovely, really. It's a whole new day. I love it. Well, the term that Cheryl and I are going to use a lot from this point forward is blueprint. So once you decide you're going to live by design, it's making this blueprint up, like you make a blueprint up for your house. Cheryl, I know you you built a pool a couple of years ago, and yep. um, there was you don't just start putting a hole in the ground. No, got to have a, a blueprint. And 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 how yeah. detailed was that blueprint for the pool, Cheryl? Uh, approximately. Well, Jonathan did it, and so let me tell you, there was not anything left out. There was a detail for literally everything all the way down to the, the name of the water that was put in the pool. There's a name because it's not normal water. It's blue, blue water. Wow. And so, <laughs> yeah, for literally everything. It's amazing. It's amazing. So why would we think that we don't need that for the most important thing to all of us, right? Our lives, what yeah. we're doing here, why we're here. Well, most people spend more time planning out a vacation than their life. I know they do. And that's only one week. So (laughs) I don't know. 
I'm going to say it's a little bit easier, but I think once you get the hang of it and kind of get into it and coming to this event, I mean, it's just going to really change. I think it's going to change people's lives. I really do. Absolutely. Absolutely. So in the notes, I actually posted a link to the planner that Cheryl and I use. It's nothing special. It's 20 bucks, best 20 bucks you can spend in your life. So um, you can click on the planner, order that. Any planner will really do, but I love this one because not only can you see your months really fast, but if you want to get and plan out your day, it's also broken down by the hours of each week. So you can actually schedule things in your life for a specific time. And I don't use the, so I try to fill out a lot of the, the, the year, I'm sorry, the monthly calendars right now for 2022. So if I, I got a bunch of events I'm doing and things that are going on that I know that are going on through 2022. So I'll put those in now. But the, the finite things, like I don't know specifically each day what I'm doing yet. So when, when I get there, I, that's when I start filling that, that in more, more detail when it's more clear. But it's great to, to, to get the 2022 planner now and start filling in and seeing where do I want to, you know, make some runs in, in business? Where do I want to take some breaks? You know, what family events do I have coming up or things that you want to plan around so that when someone asks you, can you do this on this date? You don't, you just, and this is Cheryl's favorite line with me now. So that's why I asked her, she had it with her because um, she needs to carry it. Cause I always ask her, Cheryl, what time are we going to meet tomorrow? She's like, well, I don't know. I need to go home and check my schedule first before I give you an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Which never used to happen. Well, well, so I'm standing. I have this, this um, standing desk now. And I always fall over when, when she says, I'm going to go home and check my schedule to see what time I'm uh, I'm like, how, yes. how's noon? No, perfect. Noon's great. Actually, there's three other people, though, that have calls with Cheryl at noon tomorrow. But <laughs> <laughs> listen, we'll work that out tomorrow. I mean, that, let's not let's not worry about the details here. Exactly. But um, no, Cheryl, you're doing awesome now with that and, uh, and, and really living by design. So the, the, the big thing behind Date with Destiny is that our questions determine our focus. So what questions are we asking ourselves? on a daily basis. And then from our focus, what we're focusing on will determine our emotions, how we're feeling. And the quality of our emotions truly is the quality of our life. So then our emotions determine our decisions, how, what decisions we're gonna make based on, on, on the feelings that we're having. And those decisions determine your destiny. So it all starts with questions. And uh, actually on Thursday, I'll be talking about your primary question. So all of us actually ask ourselves one specific question all the time, subconsciously. It's figuring out what that is and changing it. That's the key. Um, but we're going to ask you some, some questions now. Cheryl and I put together uh, 10 questions that um, you can ask at the end of the year here that are good thought-provoking questions. So what Cheryl and I do is at the beginning of the, at right now this week is we went back to our planners and opened up to January last of January, January, 2021 and looked through the month. Hey, and then we're asking these questions while we're looking at it. What happened good this year? So <laughs> being intentional, and that's always my word of the year. I, I recommend everyone pick a word of the year, the, the, the one word that's going to describe your 2022. I've had the same word for years and years and years now. It's always been intentional. You got to be intentional. So while I'm, you know, so what I was doing, it was um, doing a weekly review. So every week I'd look back and see what, what good things happened this week. Then I realized I can't remember what I ate for dinner last night, let alone what good things happened this week. So then I got in the habit of every day, at the end of the day, writing down what happened good today. And I discovered that I was still forgetting a bunch of things that happened good today because I don't remember what happened this morning. So now I got into the conscious habit of every time something good happens, I just write it down right then and there so I don't forget it. Because there's all these, there's so many small wins happening in all of our lives that we're overlooking them all. I promise you, you're, you're missing them. You know, you could be right now listening to this recording and saying 2021 was horrible, you know this happened bad and that happened bad and that happened bad. And you just miss like 300 things that happened good. You know, just and Sean, I know this is something that, that you struggled with, like remembering all the good things that happened, happened this year in 2021 or in years past. Oh, absolutely. 
I can't remember at all. I'm really good at just like, just move on, just yeah. move on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. But we want to remember those good things that are happening. And, and also another great thing too, I think is to, you know, just to write down what you're grateful for. I know we've talked a lot about that, but I think that helps a lot too. Yeah. That ties right in with it. And, uh, you know, when Cheryl and I were looking back at, you know, not just even this year, but the, over the past five or six years we've been together and the, the courses we've created were the big wins, you know, creating, uh, we created something called Star School. We created something called the Institute of Holistic Health. Um, we've created this Elevate Tribe, you know, so it's, it's, it's looking at those big things and seeing those big things that help you decide what you're going to do in the future. So Cheryl and I, we have like six different courses we have a tax course coming out very quickly here that, um, you know, so we're just really into that mode of, of giving, putting a lot of value out there to the world and helping people out. So what happened good this year is the first question you want to ask. The second question is what challenges did you have this year? So as you're going through these months, January through now in December, during the year sometime, you've had some challenges, except if you're Cheryl. Cheryl does. Cheryl's so good that she doesn't even have any challenges, right, Cheryl? Oh, please, please, <laughs> please. Yikes. But you know what? I have to write those down too, because I do forget about the challenges. Because like I said, I just keep moving forward, keep moving forward one step in front of the other, right? And so it's important to write down both of them. Yeah. Well, we've talked about this. It's kind of like a protective mechanism to you know, we don't want the bad things. So we, we, we have an ability to push those off and not want to deal with them or remember them. Yeah. Um, but if we go through life saying that everything's happened for me, not to me. Yeah. And also all those things that are bad this year or challenges this year, you know, the question is, what does those, those things mean to you? And they all have to mean that was just a learning experience. It was a learning experience. That's what it meant. So we, we got to get really into just looking at things as, as a learning experience. It wasn't anything you know, horrible or anything like that. It's just something that, that we're going to learn from and, and, and be able to make better decisions in the future because we learned that. So the third thing that we're going to ask ourselves, once we've gone through the entire year, January through December, and ask what, so you should have a big list of all the good things that happened and a, a list of, of the challenges you had throughout the year. Um, the third question the keys is to ask is what changes are you going to make in 2022 so that it's better than 2021? That's the whole goal here is to make the next year better than the last year. I talk a lot about my favorite analogy is the iPhone. You know, there's this um, iPhone here or an iPhone 13 and it's been around for only 14 years. So it's really not, not that old. Um, so every year, Apple knows that it has to get better. There has to be a version coming out, the iPhone 14 that they're working day and night on, has to be better than the 13, or they're going to be extinct. So it's so important to have that same mentality towards our lives, that every year we're going to have a better version. My birthday is coming up here in January and a month away, I'm getting old. So Paul 49 is coming out. It's a brand new iPhone, brand new version of myself here, operating system. And I love the word operating system because that's really what our brains are running on right now is an operating system. And I, unfortunately, Cheryl, most people are running on Windows 95 still. <laughs> they, uh, they haven't really updated that operating system. So we want to every single year update it and keep on right. elevating. I mean, that's what we're all about. Absolutely. Um, and then next we're gonna do, uh, what are you gonna stop doing? So is there something you're doing in 2020 or something you've been doing in 2021 that's just got to stop? You know, you know, maybe I'm going out to dinner too much, you know, or not that's, that's got to stop, but I got to, I got to stop going out to dinner every night. You know, is there any, anything, Shirley, you want to stop? Like, you, I know you, you're, you're perfect, but, um, you know, is there anything that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Um, something I want to stop. I'm going to say beating myself up when I make a mistake or when I do something um, that's not, you know, not quite right or not quite sure. up to what my standards are. Yeah. When you do something wrong, it's just a learning experience. Yeah. 
nothing to beat yourself, no, no reason to beat yourself up. That's not going to help anybody. Just learn from it and move on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's fantastic. So you want to make a list of the things you're going to stop doing. And then the next list, Cheryl, next question to ask, I love a lot. What do you need to be yeah. more consistent at? Yes. You know, so maybe I know Cheryl, you, you asked yourself this question last year and you're like, I'm going to be super consistent with my diet. I'm going to be super consistent with exercise. Um, the cold plunge, you know, there's certain things that have become non-negotiable in your life. And just talk about how those things have, have changed you over this year and, and made you the woman you are today, the version you are better than you were a year ago today. Right. Yeah. I think all of those things. And I think that that's gonna, that I, I, I really believe that that's how it would be for anyone because the, and, and if you're committed and if you, if you say, Hey, listen, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do this to become a better person, to become stronger, to become, um, you know, to become the type of person that I really want to be, you know, because we talk um, a lot about our standards and, and things like that. And if you are that person that you say, you know, if you're, if you're in line with what your standards are and doing those things, then it just, it just gives you so much more self-confidence and so much more, I think it's power. It's really like a powerful feeling to move forward um, in the way that I want to go. So, yeah. but putting those things out there and saying what they are and saying what I want to be consistent at has really made a huge difference for me. Yeah, absolutely. So super great question to ask yourself. Um, and then once we finish answering all those questions, we want to go into setting goals and looking forward to 2022. So what are your four goals that you want to accomplish in 2022? So you may have a bunch of goals. You may have 10 or 20 goals for all that matters. But we really want to know the four. Okay, there's three or four that really, really matter. Mostly it's three, but we're going to give you a bonus to have one more in there. But if you got three out of four of those things done in in, in 2022, where, where would you be? I mean, man, my whole life would change. So you're getting real clarity and instead of, there's all this noise going on all day long with all this other stuff. But if there's three main things or three or four main things that you can focus on that at the, in one year from now, these three things are definitely gonna happen. More can happen, of course, but those three have to happen. anything that comes to your mind, I know Cheryl, we, we talk a lot about growing, helping people, making an impact on people, growing the community, yeah. you know, having a, we, we all, we want to, we want a million raving fans in the Elevate tribe community. We want, um, obviously income is always a, a great goal to set, you know, so the, I, I'm always striving to double my income every year. So whatever it is now. Let's yes. that. So it's, it yeah, not, I love that. It may not seem like a lot, um, the first year. But if you go from this to this and then double it again and double it again, double it again, double it again, five years from now, you'll be multimillionaire. Yeah. So it um, just being consistent on that and having that not just one year vision, but five year vision of where your life's going to be um, at that point. And then it's just working with backwards design so that what I mean by that is once you have that one year vision of, of, of and goals and results that you want to accomplish, let's say it's, you're going to make an extra um, $20,000 in, in, in 2022. Well, that's super simple math. I need to make an extra $5,000 each, each of the, each quarter and to be on pace to do that. So you don't want to wait to the end of the year to, to say, Oh, I missed the mark. You know, you got to know that boy, if I'm going to be on pace to hit that weight or that income or that, whatever, I need to be here by March, you know, the end of March. Or I need to be here before 4th of July. 4th of July is a big day for us because that's halftime. So by halftime, what do I want the score to be? What do I want, what do I want to accomplish by halftime of 2022? And then knowing where you want to be on New Year's Eve next year, you can plan out the third and fourth quarter that these things need to happen and then I'll, I'll land up there. So that's really a, you know, a big picture blueprint of not only where you've been, looking back where you've been, but, you're, but from the, the clarity you've gained from where you've been, you'll be able to make that blueprint for 2022 and, and make it pretty detailed so that you can have that clarity you need to really move forward and, 
one of the things I really learned, Cheryl, from Date with Destiny, uh, we were talking about it earlier, is the need for absolute certainty. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're if you got like 98 or 99 percent certain about something, it's not good enough. Right. Well, that's with anything, right? I mean, that really is. That's if you're, you know, uh, talking to someone as a health coach and helping them and you've got to be certain. You've got to be certain that you can help them and the way that you will do that. And I think your life is exactly the same way because designing your life is all about helping you. That's what that's all about. And just you making that decision to do that, right? And so, and I think that that is so important to remember that the certainty that you have to have and the way that you're going to do it and the path that you're going to take um, all of that being certain. And, and I don't think I ever realized the importance of being certain or letting others know that I am certain, especially in certain um, times and, and in certain um, circumstances. And so I think just knowing that and becoming aware of the importance of that has been a game changer. Yeah. I agree a thousand percent. It's we ask so many people, what do you want or where do you want to be at the end of the first quarter? And they'd be like, I don't know. Like that's not certainty. <laughs> or they're certain that they don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're looking, you know, you've got to take the time to figure that out. Because if you don't, you you're living life by default and not by design. Right. So when you finish all of this, the next key is to go back and just real gently just write a little paragraph about 2021 you know after you've gone through all the good stuff and bad stuff and changes you're going to make and things you're going to stop doing things you're going to be more consistent about all these things that we've gone over just write out a little paragraph about 2021 and just to sum it up in your mind it bring some awareness to things and, and, and put a put a bow around the year and then last but not least this is a very interesting exercise cheryl and uh Yes. I looked at I looked at mine and I and I know you looked at yours. I talked to some other people, including Caroline, who uh, pulled out their um, their journal for this coming December twenty first or this December thirty first, and um, it's not good for a lot of people. Um, the things they wrote in there, so it's it's really you know. So the the, the task is to write a journal and date it twelve thirty one. 2022, so the end of next year, and talk about how wonderful 2022, 2022 was for you. Um, all the things you did, all the growth you had, uh, this got better, my marriage got better, that got better, that got better, everything got better. Um, and then once you have that story in your mind, you read that thing every single day, that this is where I'm going to land up. But you're writing it as if it already happened, which I think is super interesting, Cheryl. Yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, but being able to do that and look, it's not, it's not easy to do that, but if you can do that and make yourself do that, it is so important um, to write it the way you want it to be, write it exactly the way that you want it to be, because however you write it, that is the way that it will happen. And we know that, and I've done this time and time again and that's really what will happen yeah it will as in date with destiny we went another step further and tony made us write a, a, a journal just like this but we we only have one hour to live so you're at whatever age and you're told you have you, this is your last hour you know it just everything's shutting down and that's it so looking back at your life, what would you say about your life at that moment? So it's a very life-changing exercise and um, puts things in perspective. It puts the things you really value most and want most in your life at the top of your head. Um, and uh, so we'll, we'll talk a lot about that on, on Thursday at, at, at the Elevate um, Your Leadership um, um, podcast that we'll be shooting on Thursday at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern. So Shelly, you have any closing comments about uh, doing a year-end review? You know what? I don't, but please just do it. That's the only thing I'm going to say because it's super important to do that. And you know, if you're brand new and just starting, then kind of try to think back. Maybe there's some big things that you're proud of that you've accomplished. Maybe there's some struggles that you had. 
So I just think it's important to at least get started and then really write what you want 2022 to look like, what you want to be, what you want to have, what you, how you want to feel, um, the weight, everything that you want to be at the end of 2022, make sure that you get that on paper. Cause I think that's so important to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And when you do that, we would love to see it. So if you're willing to, to write some of this out and want to share some of it, we'd love to take some screenshots and make some posts in the Elevate Tribe Facebook group. That would be fantastic. For those of you that are in the Institute of Holistic Health as health coaches, we're going to be doing a special review tomorrow. So you have to answer all these questions and be prepared tomorrow to share with the, uh, the rest of the health coaches in the world um, what went good. And this is specifically, and you can do this for your whole life and you can do it specifically for your business. And so tomorrow we're gonna to talk specifically specifically about our business and what things went right this year, uh, what things didn't go so good this year and what things we're gonna do differently in, uh, in 2022. So we'd love everyone to share that. So please do that homework tonight and be prepared to share tomorrow. Awesome, I'm we'd excited. Yeah, me too. All right, great job, everybody. This is a super, super, super powerful exercise. All these questions are written out for you. We'll make sure you have the notes and please take the time to do this. I can't encourage you enough to do it. It's, it changed my life. It changed Cheryl's life. And I know it will change your life too if you take the time to do this and gain clarity in your life and stop living life by default and start living it by design. Yes. All right, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next week. Actually, we're not going to see you next week. No. What a Christmas. Yeah. So. Yep. All right, awesome. We'll see you on Thursday. All right, everyone, have a great day. Bye.